Do you ever feel just so hard stuck that no matter what you do, nothing ever goes right? Oh, f well, today I'm going to be explaining a bunch of simple tips that can help improve your game, and it also might just give you a different outlook on what you should do in certain types of situations. So my first tip that I'm going to start off with is that no matter what role you are playing, you should always be using your mic. Not the entire time, just like simple callouts like, this person's one shot, this person's weak. Because more often than not, other people aren't really going to be using their mic for some odd reason, but if you're making those callouts and your DPS or your tank or anyone can at least focus those targets, if your team is high priority focus and you should end up winning a lot more of your games. I know that in the lower ranks, a lot of people just use their mic to flame people and shit talk, but there are all those people that just simply don't like talking, but a lot of the times they will listen and if you're giving great comms then your team should be fine. For tip number two, this is probably one of the biggest ones, always know when to swap your characters. For example, if you're playing Winston and they have a hog on their team, there is really no reason to play Winston because hog can just full body counter him. Don't play Winston into hog, he is literally just a full counter. There are ways around it if you're a really good Winston and the other hog is not very good. In the low ranks, you might have a chance. By the way, this goes for almost every single role. Like if they're playing hog, if you don't have a Zenyatta or a Ana, you're going to have a really tough time trying to kill this hog because he can just literally mow through your entire team. If you're playing DPS and playing Reaper or Junkrat and they have a Pharah, you're literally going to have zero chance to ever kill him unless you get a really lucky shot or you're actually unreal. Just make sure that if they play Pharah, you move to a hit scan character. For a lower ranked player, a lot of this stuff can be really confusing and if you don't know which heroes counter which heroes, then I will probably make a video in the future for those people that need it, but like yo, just leave me a comment down below if you want that type of video. Like I know the matchmaking is really shit and a lot of the times you really don't have very good players on your team, but doing these simple little things can like just increase your game that much better and even make you have a little bit more fun instead of just getting fully steamrolled every freaking game. Defeat. And now for probably one of the most important tips is positioning. The more that you play the game, the more that you kind of understand the game and like if you have really good positioning, you'll know that you literally are not dying as much as your team. What you got to do is try to use walls as cover, not just stand in the open, not rush too far, or any simple thing like that. Once you understand that and you're not just feeding half the time, then you'll probably end up winning more games. So if you're the tank, your objective is literally to just go in there, create space, but make sure you don't push in their backline, just completely feed and your support can't even see you. If you're playing support, you want to be normally at the very back because then you can just heal everyone in front of you. You're not having to do 180s half the time looking for everyone. And if you're playing DPS, kind of like that middle ground, you make sure you're behind the tank, but make sure that you're in front of your support. Because if you go behind your support, then they're just doing 180s, trying to keep you alive, keep the tank alive, da 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 da. But unless you're a Widowmaker, then you should normally be in like that middle ground in front of the support and behind the tank. Cause I noticed that in like the lower ranks, you'll get these random Anas just completely push into the front line and just think that they can just freaking win that fight single handedly. And then you're just down in support right away. And that goes for the DPS as well. Their tank dies and they just run in there thinking they can just 1v5 everybody. But Overwatch is a team game. You can't do it all on your own. And just a generic tip. A lot of the times if you lose the player, you have a really high chance of losing that fight. It never hurts to just back up, regroup with everyone, and then go ahead and take that fight again. I see a lot of times where like two people get picked, even sometimes the main support gets picked like your Kiriko and you're running Kiriko Lucio, which I don't recommend in low rank, but it never hurts to just group up after you know that you don't have a high chance of winning the fight. It's better to just regroup and take that fight again and then you're not losing as much time. I know these tips are like really basic but like sometimes it's just good to get that in your head and even advising your team to like do these suggestions and it all comes down to just using your mic. If you tell people to back up and group up you lost a pick then they might listen to you instead of just going out there and just feeding and losing that fight and then having to do a full reset. But I really hope that these tips really do help you and I appreciate you guys watching and hope everyone has a great rest of their morning or night wherever you are and I'll talk to you later. Peace.